Try and make his way into the Madden Club Series Championship in LA. That's going to be a great one. I'll be there. You'll be there. The question is who will be joining us? We already know a few of those guys from the other Club Series. Guys like Ivy Strafen, Shut It Down, Bread. By the way, Shut It Down had a phenomenal performance in New England. I, saw, I was very impressed with what he brought on both sides of the ball. Would you say he's the favorite currently of the crop that is headed out there? Ooh, that's tough. Let's see who wins this, because I love this field, like you said. This, this is, is the, the toughest field. eight players, in my opinion, that has been assembled for a Club Series championship, and we are pumped to be here in Jacksonville. All right, here we go. Trips bunch to the right. Shotgun formation. Drops back. Has somebody. Oh, he gets that catch in the middle of traffic. Yeah, Derek Carr delivering a strike down the middle. Verticals. The seam throw, high point, Ladarius Green, great height, good speed, finds a tender spot, and moves the chains. Now, after facing stiff for that entire game, do you think it's going to be a little different facing this type of offense for Rage? Yeah, because the jumbo is such a, you know, specific thing, and, and you know what's coming, but you know generally what's coming, or, or one of th what one of three things are coming, but not specifically what. And you haven't, I mean, you face this meta, this style that he's playing, but you don't know what he specifically does out of it. Uh, Stiff, the Madden Daily guys, they stream, they put uh, those videos out on how to run the jumbo, so you should know what's coming if you're doing your homework. Whereas Miami, you know, he's on, if you haven't matched up and played him, you don't know his tendencies quite, a, quite uh, as quickly. And those things that are, get adjusted to as the half goes on. As the game goes on, you'll make those adjustments, but you won't do it in the first drive. All right, he finds another completion underneath. Third and two turns into first and ten. All right, these guys are tied up here with a little bit over three minutes remaining in the first quarter. Ball the 39-yard line, Mr. Miami, and rings like a boss. Yeah, let's see if he goes to this screen pass here. This is something maybe he's going to try and sneak in against Rage. And it's going to throw it away. It was kind of open. I think he thought the defender was going to peel off, but he ultimately didn't. Screen pass, not a tactic you see at a high level, but if you have the call and your opponents, I really wasn't expecting that. That was kind of shocking. Kind of a good idea to sneak it in. Oh, he tries to zap that one in there, but wasn't able to hang on to it. Looks like his defense is stepping up here. Yeah, Rage is starting to slowly figure this thing out. That looked like a little slant back across the middle. Uh, tactic that you see. He's not going to fool him. He's just got to execute, Rico. All right. Well, he dropped back for this when he tries to make that play. Oh, gets it and gets out of bounds after the completion. Yeah, not a dot, but did throw it open to the sideline. Had a step on the defender, and, and that's a good way to, to convert uh, for a first down right there. And you know that receiver is great at toe tapping and keeping himself in. Tim Brown on the outside right on a deep post. He's not going to have time to throw it, so he throws a hot one to Green, who can't hang on. And Miami saw the pressure, got it out, and he's going to have to be quick in getting it because Baugh, uh, Rage sent it ferociously right there. I noticed how Mr. Miami's not even concerned with the blitz that's coming. He sees everything. He's making his reads, going through his progressions, and he looks like he's ready for this. Yeah, and that halfback slip screen. The screen got usered by the defense, so he goes across the middle, and that is how you have to do it at this level. Ooh, he threw that one. He went with the high pass, and it almost got picked off. Yeah, love throwing high points in the red zone, but in traffic, Ladarius Green's not going to be the best guy to hang on. That's not his, his game, so a good target, a safe throw on first and 10 across the middle. And he's going to live to fight another down. Let's see if he tries to go back to the ground. All right. He tries to cut it up the middle for a short game. Second and 10. Turns into third and eight. Ricky Williams, that halfback, is going to hang on to the rock. He's in the Rams playbook, so he's got to find a way to maybe target one more time. Does he go to a play like verticals that we've seen guys use where they high point to the outside? Tim Brown. I mean, really, Julio is his best option in this area. All right, here we go. Bunch to the right. right. Looking to do something. Drops back. Oh! Threw it in the flat. It was all over it. Yeah, the flat, he would have needed a broken tackle. And you expect to get some of those from Ricky Williams, but it, it just wasn't the one-on-one -on -one I think he thought it was. 
He motioned uh, the receiver on the right to, to an interesting position was Brown. Rico, how tough is it to score in the red zone? I mean, you've been watching Madden now this entire season. You know, aside from Skimbo, who I feel like has dots for days when he gets down in there, not many people can consistently do it. Not at all. And what happens is it's definitely a, a game of inches. Once people are allowing, that's why a lot of people have been using that bend but don't break defense. They're letting you get down and they're letting you move, and then they're just locking up when it gets inside that six-yard line and you can't run all the routes that you want or you can't get the underneath stuff. It, it is separating the boys from the men. Yeah, and Ray just been down three points before in his first game when he defeated Stiff. If you're just tuning in, uh, Mr. Miami Man did take down Matster Gamer. And in the next match, we got Stevie J, who beat Killicam, will be taking on True Boy, who got a victory against Ocean Gang Trey on the on-stream match in our first game of the day. All right, he's rolling out, looking for somebody. Can't find anyone, so make sure he gets rid of it before taking that sack. Those PA seams, those downfield throws, he just, well, that was the last play he called on offense was the game winner, and again, stiff in overtime, and that was then a deep downfield route that he called one more time. He had the halfback for maybe a playmaker, which is where you can actually take control of a receiver after the snap. He would have needed to use that, but instead, he's smart. He hasn't really made any ill-advised throws uh, where he just didn't have anything yet. All right, he goes up top right there for the completion. Mike Evans, 20 yards, Rico. That is where you want to throw it. It's a, you know it's a little dangerous to throw high in the seam because if it's an overthrow, safety could pick it off. But he knows he's got Aaron Rodgers the best at it, and he's going to utilize it because you don't. That's if you're going to take those three guys, those are the types of throws you got to make. Plus, against this DB fire too, that's the scene. That's the area where he's the most tender. So you got to take advantage. Absolutely, well done. This DB Fire, too, is stopping the run. Notice he's getting away from his run game that he tried to use for a little bit. That pickup of two, don't think it's going to be enough for him to be able to stick with it. Look for him to make passes all over the field. No, and he shouldn't. I mean, he's got Vernon Davis is actually a really good run blocker at tight end, but that's not. He's thrown that before, and I love the pass lead he's putting on that throw, Rico. We talk about these eight competitors that are in this field. I said it was one of the best. Even though he's a higher seed, he beat out thousands of other players to get into this one, and he's showing you why with pass leads like that. Absolutely, and he's going ahead trying to march down the field and put up seven. We're at our first quarter over. Here it is, three nothing, Rage Trails. Yeah, Broncos playbook, which, you know, Madden's undergone changes throughout the year, Rico. It's, it's a different game from what comes on, the, and that's that high point, and that's the risky throw that we just talked about, but Madden, you know, you get it on the disc, you connect it to the internet, it updates over time. The team at Tiburon continuously works on the game and continues to make change and updates. And tip, tip your hat to the Tiburon team, who's absolutely always working to make sure that the best game possible is being played by millions all over the world. And a dot to Herman Moore, he goes back to that throw, pass lead, cover two beater, all day right now for Rage, he's up seven, three, this Broncos playbook that he's in, it was one of the best. And then the game updated, and then the corner strike that you see, a lot of those C routes at the Madden Bowl, they get covered better by different flat zones now. So you're actually able to defend them a little bit easier. So less people have been running that Broncos playbook as much. Rage has stuck with it, and he looks really good doing it. He's definitely got this thing together. He's leading now 7-3 to three with 4 minutes and 48 seconds to go in the second quarter. Mr. Miami's going to have to look to do something here. You don't want to allow him to get up too much on you. Yeah, he just needs to keep passing it consistently, playing his game, looking across the middle. He's got to watch out for the user defender in the middle of the field because that is really the only thing that will ruin his day. Otherwise, he should be poised to continue to drive down the field. Scream, Rico. Scream was it? I blinked, and that quarterback was down. He didn't have a chance to throw it away. He didn't have a chance to drop back. He didn't do anything. That was some phenomenal fire by Rage. Edge pressure. You see him standing up in the line of scrimmage right near 61. You see how he's moving and wiggling his guy around? That means that the pressure is generally coming off the left side of the field. He's standing over there to say, hey, hey, 61, look at me. Look at me. And then the pressure will come off the left. But it looks like he's ready to block it with his halfback. See how he picked it up. 
All right, he went up top in an incomplete pass. All right, we have Spencer with an on-the-field update. All right, guys, I had to try to find Rage's mom, but Mrs. Boss actually went outside because she is nervous. She is a bad luck. Doesn't want to jinx this possible match. And also, he may be calm on stage, but at home, he has broken a lot of furniture. He better win some money because he rages like a boss at home. Back to you, Rico. All right. Well, that only, he might break furniture, but it looks like he'll be breaking some records as well. Oh, and he broke some tackles. Ooh. Rico, you know when the first time I broke a controller was? The first time you played? No, never, because you think I want to ride to Funko Land on my bicycle and buy another Sega controller that costs like 50 bucks? You know how many birth, you know how many te teeth that is when I was like 12 <laughs> years old? You think I had money to go spend at Funko Land? No, I was out there pumping gas out in the streets, Madden guy, man of the people. I don't have money to spend on paddles, dude. You gotta, you, you should, don't, don't punch a wall. That's really bad because you hurt your hand. But don't break your paddles if you're at home. You can rage, you can scream. I like to yell into a pillow. That's some of my therapy. But the paddles, paddles are too expensive. They didn't do anything wrong. They, you, it's not like you pressed A and then X happened. Uh, you pressed X, bro. That's on you. So don't, don't leave the paddle out of this. Absolutely. All right, we have another shotgun set here. He's looking for an open receiver. Ooh. But he throws in the traffic. He breaks that back one in. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's playing like a boss. In, in Rage right now, he's got the confidence in his favor. He was kind of playing with house money in that first game. We were sitting with him last night at dinner, and he, he was confident, but he was, like, excited at the chance. And I think he thought his biggest match would be stiff, right? And so I don't know how much he really focused on that game and then said, I just got to get through that, just got to get through that. That I was nervous he might have a letdown after that game because he had been focusing so much energy on that one. But that's clearly not the case. And he clearly has some awesome routes uh, that can hit the sideline and really carve up this cover two defense. He is definitely getting more comfortable running his entire playbook. We're seeing him with all kinds of great pass plays, run plays. He's going over the middle. He's going to the corners. He's throwing every route there is. He's going to be a problem for the Madden community with the more confidence this kid gets. Yeah, he is taking some sacks, though. Clowney got in right there. And Rico, before this third and 19, I'd like to take a moment of silence for the single back jumbo. Back to the game. Oh, yes. It had a great run for it while it lasted. It did. We had two competitors use it today. I believe it's 0-3 in the last couple that I've seen, but it is a really tough offense. Just Rage got it done against it. But now it's 4th and 26 at the two-minute warning, and that is one time today that you'll see a turnover not, not uh, turn into points, right? We talk about that a lot, how turnovers and points go hand-in-hand. Hand. Not this time. All right. We saw our, our – is that a punter? Fake like a boss? <laughs> I don't know if he has 26 yards in that fake. He didn't kick it out of bounds. Let's see if he's got backspin. Backspin like a boss. Oh, wow. Everything's going his way. Besides that last drive, of course. Good punt right there, but uh, Miami does take over. And he's 24 years old. Aaron Frischman, Miami, Florida, trying to come back downfield. Take a lead before the half. Knows he needs a drive. He's going back to the screen pass. And that's a very risky play to throw when you're on your fourth guard line, allowing all those defenders to just shoot through the line. Yeah, it's a two-part play. It's the screen, and then he can either, actually a three-part play. He can throw the streaks. He could throw the routes across the middle. Yeah, but when your linemen run away, that's generally something very scary when you're at your own four yard line. This running back's going to need to pick up that edge heat or else this could be problems coming on here. Uh-oh, block shed. Big time block shed from the defender, Rico. So remember how we talked about secure pass blocker that True Boy has in his lineup? He's got those linemen that have those traits. Absolutely. I believe that secure, the secure plat, uh, pass blocker will actually you know, be able to defend against those types of moves. He hurdled the lineman on the left side of the screen. Uh, Let's take a look and see who that is for Boss. All right, third and ten. Here we go. Ball on the four-yard line. He needs something. Oh, and he finds him over for the first down. Great completion. Moving the chains. Yeah, so his pass rushers for Rage are Khalil Mack and Lawrence Taylor, two guys you might have heard of if you're into football. All right, he finds him underneath. Not able to break that tackle, but still able to pick up four. 
Yeah, pretty interesting. Odell Beckham is not a guy you see a lot of inside of uh, Ultimate Team. He is route running slightly lower than a guy like Antonio Brown uh, or Tim Brown. And even though he has really high spectacular catch, Rico, what goes along with spectacular catch? The high pass. The high pass. So Odell Beckham, super spec catch rating, but he's shorter than a guy like Randy Moss, who's got a similar rating. So he's not a guy you see a ton of, but with all these drags, quick agility is one of the reasons I think that boss, uh, that uh, Miami has him on his squad. All right, another pass underneath. Gets down before he takes that big hit, but he did not get the first. Yeah. Fourth and inches. Uh, you know, he, he ran the route to the line of scrimmage. He possessed it. It was good, but now he faces a fourth and inches. Let's see if he sneaks. Yep, got it. So gets it, and we got a timeout here. Miami trails by four with the ball, 50 seconds to go, two timeouts. That's an eternity in Madden time. If you're new today and you're watching, it's like, you know, what are these guys doing with the clock? Well, they're, they're so precise and they have so many plays that they know exactly where they need to be on the field. All right, he's rolling out, looking to try to make something happen. Oh, and he has to throw it away before he takes that big sack. So Rico, the route was coming across the field. He usered it. He actually dropped down to the shorter route because he knew the deeper one was covered. And that was a good play to throw the ball away. All right, here we go. Second and 10, ball on the 33-yard line. 42 seconds remaining. Oh, and there you have it for that pick. Ball stands up for himself at the most opportune times. Anthony Barr, second interception of the game. He really just makes an impact, Rico. He just makes an impact over and over and over. And Rage takes back inside on uh, Miami's half of the field. He playmakers. He goes upfield. Randy Moss, user playmaker. So right there, he's rolling out of the pocket, Rico. He takes the left trigger. He flicks the right stick up. Randy Moss says, I got you. I got you, boss. I'm going upfield. Catches it, racks it, brings it into the red zone with 19 seconds left. Tick, tock. Tick, talk. Doesn't want to score too early, but you also want to give yourself some plays. Uh, let's see if he hikes it for a run real quick and then takes. Ooh. He's passing it. Wow. This is a critical Six, error. Five. Criti he critical error because right now, eh, you're going to get two quick throws. If you, if you throw the ball super quick, you're going to get two and then kick a field goal. These plays should take like two seconds, but he got. All right, he has my game. It's one second left. Very, very tight window. But when Madden is easy, Rico, that's sometimes Madden's easy. Uh-oh, block. Oh, almost. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. I mean, we talk about how good these players are and how, I, you know, I mentioned the clock situation earlier, how they manage it so, so well. I was nervous he went for too close of a skill. Uh-oh, he recovered it with one second to go, and Rage is going to have a shot. He says, can I get three here? Can he get three here? Mm. D. Jones did this one time. I think he's Yeah, he's taking three. Uh, he couldn't hit it. Uh, he's going to try and get ice. But he's got a 56-yard field, but he should make this. And I think Tucker's – I don't even know if you can – I don't think he can freeze in the uh, end of the first. <coughs> you can't ice. And also his kicker, Tucker, likely has anti-freeze because he doesn't have the slow kick meter. So he doesn't he have got, he focus. Up. He's generally got clutch. Oh, he missed it off the dunk. <laughs> dunk it, bro. So close, so close. Mr. Miami gets away with one there. Would have put him down two full touchdowns instead. He just trails by 11, but Rage gets the ball, so Miami's got to find a way to get a stop on this opening drive. That would have been, I mean, that would have been potentially game if he had made that because with Rage getting the ball, he scores it. All of a sudden, all of a sudden goes to three possessions. Now, do you start running clock here when you're up 11 with the ball? I think you... So, Rico, here's what people like to do against uh, the DB Fire 2 press. They either like to run power O or they like to throw to the seams. What Rage has been doing, and you've been seeing it, is throwing those outside high point pass led balls to the big guys. Because... The power row is such a successful run against those style of defenses. I do think you start to run the clock a little bit uh, because you know it can work, and it actually got him out of the defense. So I expect to see power row. Remember how he said Madden changes and updates over the course of the year? More and more people right now are figuring out, 
Oh, all these edge pressures are really, really tough. Let me run some power O. Wow, I'm getting a seal on the block. And it's got to make a guy like Clint Goldenberg proud who does all the blocking stuff because people now are using power how it's meant to be run. Sometimes people, you know, they take power and they run it instantly all the way outside or they treat it like a toss. It's not. You want to, you know, take it off power. Take it off tackle. All right, second and ten ball on the 40-yard line. Four minutes remaining in the third quarter. All right, the gives in the Ooh. middle. He breaks the tackle, gets the first down and some more. Yeah, and so Rage in this salary cap mode, this is Madden Ultimate Team salary cap, he is able to have a 95 Randy Moss, a 95 Herman Moore, and a 95 Mike Evans because he didn't spend a lot of halfback. But just because you don't spend as much on a halfback doesn't mean that you can't get great performance from them. He's using David Johnson, looking like he's the 93 team of the week, which is an upgraded version of David Johnson, but instead it is an 80 David Johnson. As long as he hangs onto the ball and performs like this, a miscalculation from Rage, a little uh, delay of game. He's, he's got chew clock on, right, Rico? So you press LB at the menu, you see it down at the bottom where it says chew clock. That makes it so you don't have to wait. The clock just runs itself down to 10 seconds, the play clock, when you come out of the huddle. That way you don't have to wait online. All right, he picks up all that. Oh, he has the man open. And he's at the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5. One got to beat. Oh, and he gets pushed out at about the 2. Awesome play. He rolled out of the pocket. He was going to scramble. Instead, his receiver breaks upfield. He delivers it. There was a defender near it, but he knew he had it. And it leads to a huge gain down to the 3-yard line. Outstanding throw on the run. That's why you get an Aaron Rodgers in your lineup. All right, he gives it, and he gets in with no problem. All right, Rage Like a Boss is taking a commanding lead here in the third quarter. Yeah, if you're just tuning in, he took the lead over Stiff in overtime on a game-winning touchdown, and since then, he's never really trailed. He, you know, came out 3-0, but since then, Rico, in this game specifically, 21-3. He's definitely showing that he deserves to be here and can play with anybody who sits next to him. And what I'm nervous about for Miami right now is this Rams playbook. What Miami likes to do is throw short routes across the middle of the field, lots of drags, lots of dink and dunk. Rico, you're down three scores. It's not really dink and dunk time. Get like Anthony Barr. Our, uh -oh. oh, and he just made somebody miss. 30, 25, 20, 10, 5. And touchdown! Don't call him out of this game. He's That's still here. bad for Rage. He almost got back underneath to user it. He wasn't on bar, the big guy. So therefore, he didn't really have the range to drop deep. And even though it was a crossing route, which is dink and dunk, Rico, he broke it, and that was huge. All right, he's going for two here, trying to cut it to a 10-point deficit. Oh. Too easy. Run commit for uh, Rage. Probably thought he was going to pound the rock. Quick throw over the middle makes it a 10-point game. A lot of time left in this one. And that is why you start to run some clock if you're Rage. You want to take this one away. You had the three-score lead. You couldn't really afford to get. Just don't give up a long play. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, but he's got to shake that off, get back in this Broncos offensive playbook, and start to make some plays. The yardage, though, is pretty similar. It's really been the turnovers that Rage has got with two interceptions from Barr that's been the difference. All right. Well, he's looking to go ahead and shoot some clock and hopefully lengthen his lead. But first and 10 turned into second and 10. Mr. Miami is clamped down on defense now. Rico, have you ever had a player on one of your Madden rosters that fumbles from time to time? And then how do you treat that player? Do you get nervous? Like, uh-oh. Oh. It changes your whole offense. Because what happens is all the plays you're used to running, all the things you're, the schemes you're used to going with, you find yourself looking at that person, figuring out ways to keep the ball away from them. They may be the open read, they may be your hot read, now you're keeping them in the block. It completely throws off your offense. Uh-oh! Ooh, Mr. Miami almost had a tip drill there. Yeah, and he's putting the halfback on a quick out out of the backfield. He hasn't thrown it a ton. The seam, that, that's, a, that's not the read. That's not the read on third and two. Uh oh! But he's going to go for it on fourth and two, and this is a momentum play for Ray, uh, for Mr. Miami if he can get a stop, Rico. Here he goes. Wow! 
not only did he get the stop, he got the pick. He probably would have rather have dropped it and saved a couple yards, but he's just happy to have the ball back. After that play, Mr. Miami yelled, let's go Dion," And that was Deion Sanders. Could have been a swat, instead he gets a pick. And now he takes over. He's got oh. the drag. All right. Did, did his mom just step back in the building? It seems like his luck just turned a little bit. Right? Up three scores. All of a sudden, he's only up ten points, and his opponent's got the ball back. The winds this have is changed. Bad news for Rage. Uh-oh. All right, Mr. Randy was a tackle away from taking that one to the house, too. Yeah, and he has not upgraded his offensive line at all. And Rage has got to try and get some pressure. The drag is open underneath. Odell Beckham gets out of bounds, still takes a hit. I would have flagged him for that if I was an official. <laughs> if I, was a, I, keep, I keep my flags right here, throw them up in the air. All right, second and one, ball on the 14-yard line. 35 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's a pick. And you saw it happening. He got hit. He rushed it, tried to find that man in the seam. I guess mom left the building because Rage got that stop. And looks like he's back in control of this game. Pressure, burst, pipes, Rico. It's time to apply it now. Off the edge. Forces the throw across the middle. Mark Barron, one of the best budget defenders in Ultimate Team, gets the pick. Huge play for Rage. That is amazing play. Fortunately, he toe tapped. But if he could have just playmakered that a little bit quicker, that's a great cat and mouse game. Like, I'm rolling out. I'm covering the guy. You can roll. No, you can't roll. I'm going to throw it over your top. That, those plays happen quite a bit in this with mobile quarterbacks and how the pressure forces everybody to roll away. I'm shocked he's going to run a play in this third quarter. No, no. He's putting down the paddle. He's going to have a little beverage. He's going to go up, you know, maybe change the song in his headphones. He's, he's just hanging out, man. This kid's cool as a cucumber. All right. Well, here we have it. This is the moment we've been waiting for. The fourth quarter has begun. 21 to 11. Rage like a boss leads Mr. Miami with the ball, looking to put this one away. Flats wide open, and he's going to have to take that away because you're you're beyond the point of relying on a hit stick fumble in the flat at this point. You've got to take a hard flat, make him throw the deep sideline throw, which his opponent has done really well. Uh oh. You see them ripping at that ball of David Johnson. A lot of players cashed out their David Johnson and said, you know what, I'm going to take Ricky Williams, not Rage. But if David Johnson lays one on the turf, you're going to see that nickname in full effect. Uh oh, he broke that. Oh, and it looked like he was going to try to turn that one upfield and take it to the house. So the reason that there's so many broken tackles happening right now is because Miami is trying to strip the football. That's the RB button on Xbox. So when he's going for tackles, he's got two defenders in the area. He's He knows he needs a turnover, so he's trying to rip out the rock, but oftentimes that can lead to broken tackles. Yeah, he's finally decided to take what they've given him with that quarterback scramble. Not only does that move the chains, it keeps the clock running. He got a slide, and he did it just that. Keeps it moving. Ten-point lead into the fourth quarter. He's got two clock on. This kid's looking like a genius. All right, that gives up the middle. He falls forward for maybe a yard. Yeah, he's not having a ton of success with David Johnson, 11 for 37, but just enough, Rico, just enough that it's a nuisance. The quarterback's getting involved in the ground game, so the flat passes are acting like the ground game, and that's how he's accomplishing. The, it's enough to make you respect it. And once you have to respect it and come up and play it, that now opens up everything else he's trying to do. And everything else is Randy Moss, Herman Moore, and Mike Evans. I mean, those are some stars that's a lot that of he's got else. out there. Yeah, <laughs> that's a Hall of Fame lineup. Even probably right now, those guys could probably score 30. You're probably right. All right, he drops back. He's looking. He's rolling out with the quarterback. He's looking to get the first down. He takes a hit. Oh, another hit. But he didn't fumble. That's a calculated risk from Rage. I don't like it. Uh, you could have slid and had a shorter situation. He said, you know what, Aaron Rodgers? Because when he took a hit with Aaron Rodgers right before the end of the game was stiff, not in overtime, but uh, the play before overtime to try and get just enough to kick the field goal, he needed it, and it was his only chance. That, you could have slid, kept the clock moving. You really do fumble at a high rate when you get hit with the quarterback. It worked out for him. He said, you know what, I need this first down. I want to get, because the quarterback, They'll, they'll often they'll like 
lay, there's an animation where you'll get like laid down over the top of him, and that's what he needed, that's what he got, and that's why he got the first down. So it was a calculated risk, Rage went for it, and now he's in a commanding position. All right, if you're Mr. Miami, at what point do you start finishing those timeouts? You got one left. Yeah, he, he's starting to use them right now. That first down was a backbreaker. Now, at this point, he needs to rely on an onside kick to get back in this game. He's got to hold him to a field goal. Score a touchdown, onside kick, touchdown. Crazier things have happened, Rico. Crazier things uh -oh. have happened. He needed to make sure he kept him from getting that first down to make sure. And now it's fourth and seven on the 20 yard line. Rage is about to take three to make it a two score game. Could it be a block? No, it cannot. But 24 11, Miami's going to get the ball. He got one touchdown on a dink and dunk that was broken upfield after. But there hasn't been these long, deep dot routes for him. It's just kind of been short stuff. He, no, no time for that. No time for that without timeouts, especially throwing drags across the middle of the field. You're not going to be really able to get to the sideline. So you've got to find a way. If you've been saving some plays, you're in this Rams playbook. I know that there's some deep, some big routes in this book. And he's got to find them. He's got to go on wild. He's got to ch channel his inner on wild. All right. And, and he doesn't want to be in a box when he channels it. <laughs> All right. A minute and 37 remaining. He's looking to oh, make a play. Oh, he's got a route. He has somebody open. Oh, and he gets there just in time to break it up. And Odell Beckham, Miami. Yay. And, a, and a drop joke. As a Giants fan, everything's coming first full circle right now, Rico. <laughs> and then some. Oh, great defense by Rage. He has everything covered right now. Perhaps Miami was on the boat with those guys. He might have been. Third and ten, needs to find a way. At this point, you just need a first down. You can't even really worry about the clock because if you get the onside kick, you're just hoping to get a shot. As long as you score with 25 seconds or so, you, you're, you're in a good situation. Good route. Oh, he finds him underneath. That was a heck of a hit he just laid there. Yeah, and he did get the first down. He hung on. He didn't catch that one down the sideline. It was a great call to go to the verticals. He's rolling out. He's looking, he has a lot of him. room. He could run, but he didn't. So, Rico, he kind of baited him into that throw with Barr. Like, he dro he looked like he was going to drop down. He took two steps. But even two steps, when you're that tall, it doesn't really affect it. But it looked like he was running down. So, almost, almost threw the uh, hook, line, and sinker out there. All right, play action. He has a man. Okay, he's going deep to Julio. Pick. Yeah, that's a pick. He had, he had the crossing route across the middle. Landon Collins, my choice for defensive NFL MVP. They haven't given me a vote yet, but that would have been my selection. Uh, gets the pick, seals the victory, and now what is it, Rico? The best play in football is coming up. Now here's the thing. 35 seconds, he's up 13. Somebody needs to call mama. Tell her to come on back in. Your baby did good. Yeah, come give this guy a hug. Maybe I could fill in if she's not back in the building yet uh, because this kid's putting on a show today. That is the victory. Rico, what was the most impressive part of that win to you? The most impressive part was when he faced adversity and it didn't rattle him. He still stayed cool, he still stayed calm, and he didn't crack. He never got outside of his game. He never went away from what got him here. And he's in the finals now. That has to be a great feeling to know that the first tournament you were able to enter, you are in the finals as good as you thought you were. Because remember, until you come to this big stage, you're only as good as your buddies you play and the people you play online. You never know exactly how you can hang with the best of the best. Well, he had his chance, he's gotten here, and he's shown that not only does he deserve to be here, he's gonna be here for quite some time. Yeah, and he talked about it in his post-game interview after the last game, his family. You know, you're young, you spend a lot of time playing games, some people question it. But this opportunity of the entire championship series, Rico, that EA Sports has provided $1 million, he knows what's on the line. He's got the support system in place to give him the chance. And how good must it feel if you've put the time into this game to then say, hey, we're going to go to this tournament today. Where is it? It's at the Jaguar Stadium. They're going to let you in there? Yeah, they're going to let us in the suite. There's a video board, a pool. There's eight other competitors, the 16 champions here. And you put on a show 
for your family that supported you, it's got to feel good for Rage. It's very rare that opportunity meets preparation, but it does here, and it's going to be with Spencer. Let's go ahead and see how he is with the winner. All right, I'm here with Rage. You beat Stiff, former champion. You're advancing to the finals. You feel pretty good, don't you? I feel pretty good, yeah. yeah I feel pretty good. <laughs> Still calm and collected. Now, you're called Rage. You're cool and calm right now. Yeah. How are you keeping your rage in? Is that your difference maker right now? Yeah, man. Um, I think you're not going to get anywhere when you, because your mind, you know, you start overthinking things. And when, you, when you're calm, you know, you do what you're supposed to do and you win most of the time. All right. Your mom watched the stream outside. Didn't want to jinx you. What do you got to tell her on the stream when you're watching? You got any words for her? Um, you know, I, I would love for her to be right there, you know, wa watching her support me. But, I mean, I'd rather not her not be outside, but it's good. <laughs> Hey, he may be called Rage, but he's cool, like a boss. Back to you, Rico. All right, thanks, man.